Hello everyone and welcome to Campbell Now. I'm Hannah McCravey. And I'm Elise Sewell. When you return from fall break on the 6th, you might want to keep in mind that the last day to drop a class with a W is on October 28th. If you need guidance on whether to keep or drop a particular class, be sure to reach out to your advisor. The month of October means homecoming is quickly approaching. The week of homecoming will start on Monday, October 14th with the homecoming kickoff. There will be many events throughout the week including a bonfire, circus, and parade. Be sure to check social media and your emails for time and placement of the events. Now going into national news, the House Democrats leaders are alerting the White House to a subpoena in order to obtain crucial documents from the White House. The documents in question hold information about President Trump's business with Ukraine. The Democrats have already requested these documents multiple times. Any more refusal from the current administration could possibly be seen as impeachable misconduct. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff says any effort to disturb the Democrats' investigation can be used as evidence of obstruction and possibly supports reasons for impeachment. In Phoenix, a baby was found dead in a hot vehicle on Tuesday. Authorities say the four-month-old girl was left forgotten in her car seat as her father went to work. The Phoenix Fire Department was dispatched after receiving a report of a child being left in a school parking lot. Firefighters reported that the child was beyond resuscitative efforts. It is unclear how long she was left in the car and her name has not been released. Risks may be involved in consuming raw shellfish. A man in Cary, North Carolina died on Thursday after visiting coastal Wilmington due to what may be contaminated oysters. North Carolina officials are investigating whether the oysters were a cause of his death. It was reported that David Argay's death was from a bacteria known as vibrosis. The bacteria is commonly found in raw or undercooked shellfish, but can also enter the body through open wounds. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says an average of 100 people die yearly from vibrosis. Officials are yet to release information about the restaurant he ate at or where the oysters were shipped in from. Park attendants are being cautious after a recent tragedy. Last Saturday, an amusement park in Mexico City witnessed two dead and others injured from a roller coaster incident. Officials say the roller coaster had a metallic structure attached to the ride that collided with the carriage, causing it to derail and the passengers to fall to the ground. Who will be held for the uh, responsible incident is undetermined. Further investigations are still being made on how the incident happened. As of last Monday, Tropical Storm Lorenzo was heading northwest from the West African coast. By the following Wednesday, Lorenzo had become a hurricane and then became a Category 5 at 160 miles per hour on Saturday. At that time, Lorenzo was only 1,420 miles southwest of the Azores Islands. Lorenzo has come back down to Category 2, but the storm is very broad spanning 500 miles from tropical force winds. According to hurricane specialist Andrew Lado, no storm has ever been recorded that far northeast. When we return, get news on the, on the growing tensions in Hong Kong. Because of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. Hong Kong protests escalate to new levels of violence. This past Tuesday, an 18-year-old student was allegedly shot in the chest by police officers during the street brawls. The student, Sang Chi Kin, was taken to the hospital. Authorities there reported that he was in a stable condition and placed in intensive care. The four-month-long protest has experienced violence through tear gas and thrown bricks. But now protest supporters and critics face new tensions. American sprinter Allison Felix won her 12th gold medal after surpassing Usain Bolt at the IAAF World Championship. It was a major victory compared to challenges she faced over the summer. Felix joined women in the protest over pregnant athletes and sponsorships. From personal experience, Felix became an, an influence to Nike's change in policy. The company made a pledge not to apply payment reductions to pregnant athletes for a period of 18 months and to have clear language written in the contracts to reinforce their new policy. Many anticipate the next Spider-Man movie. As of last Friday, Disney and Sony welcomed back Tom Holland into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As the renowned hero Spider-Man, Approximately one month ago, the two companies had a reported disagreement over profit sharing, taking the hero Spider-Man out of the future Marvel movies. Now the new agreement will allow Spider-Man to appear in the third film under the Marvel Studios banner. 
fans are in just as much shock then as they are now. Thank you for joining us on Campbell Now. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Elise Sewell. And I'm Hannah McCready. Have a good night.